Hello there Vikings, welcome into my very first build tutorial for Valheim. This has been requested by a lot of people and so today I'm working hard on it. This is the second time I've had to do it because the first time I messed it up. So let's go over to the build. I'm going to make sure it's as detailed as possible for you guys and you can follow along and it's going to be nice and easy and hopefully the end result is exactly the same as what we had before, right? Okay, so starting off with the base guys, you're going to grab out a singular block here. And we're going to go one, rotate 90 degrees, one, two, three, double blocks. We're then going to go a single right on the end and start one, two, three, four, five, double blocks. And then one single, rotate 90 degrees, we're going to go a double block, one, two, three, and then a single, we're then going to rotate and do four double blocks, one, two, three, four. Okay, now straight away on the back end here, you want to do two double blocks with a singular on each side. This is for the fireplace on the internal part of the house. On the front, you want to rotate 90 degrees and do a double block. Two double blocks flat and then a double block. So just take note from this point. The door frame is here. You have a single, you then have three spaces. Your furnace goes in here, but on the other side, the left side, you should have one, two spaces, and then the wall here. Okay, please make sure you get that right, guys. I've had to do this whole thing again because I messed it up the first time. So I will leave a JPEG on the screen, pause the video, and you can map it out. Okay, pay close attention. We're going to build the sexy furnace for the front of the house. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves double stone wall and we're going to replicate this here. Perfect. Love your work. Now I'm going to grab this stone arch. Now what I want you to do, if you didn't know this already, you can hold down shift and free move these build pieces. So what I want you to do is put it at the front of this block, but halfway. So we're going to go boom. Oops, I made a mistake. Boom. Okay, we're going to rotate it around. We're going to do another half block. Okay, make sure it's nice and even. Looking good, looking good. Boom. Okay, that's going to give you a perfect arch through the middle of this. Because if you if you look at these build pieces, you'll notice that there's a, a little bit of space that's flat. So you want it to go straight through like this. Now, you can be all fancy and come over to the other side. And you want to put down another two on each side. So I'm going to go boom, boom, like that. Now we're going to grab out the single block. Single block, boom. Single block, boom. Then we're gonna grab an arch again. Now you gotta remember that in this game you need the smoke to be able to escape, uh, else you are going to die of smoke inhalation. So once you've got three curved pieces in, you wanna delete the middle two. You only do that so that they're perfect, okay? Now on the inside part of the house, we're going to use the curves again. We're gonna place down a curve on the edge and on the edge over here. No overlapping this time. Okay, next part. Double block where the edge starts and single block here. It should hopefully snap inside and then you'll have a nice neat square with these curves in the top. Same thing on the other side. Okay, now we want to build the actual chimney. So I placed a double block on the front here. It can be nice and snapped, that's fine. And one on the back, let it snap as well. Next, you're going to hold down shift and you're going to slowly slide this block in halfway between the back and the front block. Okay, you should get to about halfway and then boom, you're going to chuck that in. Same on the other side. Okay, nice and neat. Now you're going to build this up. This is the chimney. Okay, the shaft of the chimney. We're going to build this up about 12. I believe it's 12. Don't forget the fire because you want to make some roast chicken. Okay, the walls. So we're going to go and put in these double, big doubles, the big boy doubles around the edges. Now in my previous build, I actually found some overlapping pieces. So I must have just done that out of laziness. So don't stress if there is any overlapping pieces. 
Once you've put in a double layer, you're then going to go back through and put in a, another layer of singles. On the last layer of rock, you want to get to the door frame, you want to do this. And you want to play it all the way to the edge here. You then want to put in some singles against this wall. So you'll end up having a nice square fireplace, but you'll have this little nook in here. Now that's very important. You need to make sure you have this nook in here. Once again, I messed it up before and I had to redo the whole thing. Okay, wooden frame part time. So keep watching guys, I'm going to go through and we're just going to edge off every single part of the build. Okay, when you get to this part here, so with this wall, I want you to continue to go along between these two stones, okay? And then we're gonna have a little extra piece here. So it'll be like a half piece hanging out. You won't have it on this side, but it will be a perfectly square frame uh, throughout this part of the build. Okay, so this is super important, guys. On the left side of the build, on this roof part after you've placed your two, you wanna have this out by one meter, and then on the edge here you want to have these by half a meter so half a meter here half a meter here now when you get to this inner bit it's not going to matter because there's going to be roof there so you're just going to put this straight across uh, and it's going to act as a good support against the chimney as well once you're at this point we're going to go and edge over the sides again I am then going to go ahead and place in my 45 degree angles from the front of the house and it's going to line up at the back there in theory. If it doesn't line up, uh, you may have done something wrong and you might want to go back in the video and just check, but I'm hoping at this stage, guys, it's clear enough. Okay, guys, this is the tricky bit. So the A-frame kind of roof that I've done on the front of the house, um, this took me a lot of times to film. This is literally the fourth time I've filmed this because I've been trying to figure out what I did to actually build this. So we're going to try and see if I can get it this time. Hopefully I can. And if you see it in the video, then you know that I did. So we're going to start off with one and then we're going to go two. So these are the two meter pieces. I'm then going to do a 90 degree here. I'm going to go one, two, and then we're going to do a half. So please make sure you put that a half in there or the rest of it won't work. I'm then going to go 90 degrees, place that in there, and this should connect up to the frame quite close to the chimney, which is what we want. Let's add in some supports. And then on top of this one, we're going to go, whoops, one, two. Uh, this is where the bedroom starts. I'm going to remove this because I believe that I might have messed this piece up, being that I need to put the halves, halves in. So maybe do the same on yours. Okay, I'm going to continue this box around as it is the bedroom. Half piece. When I get to here, we're going to put one on there. I'm then going to start building up the roof. So we're going to get 45 degree angle and we're going to put three of these in. And then we're going to go to the other side and put three of these in. Try your best to get a piece of wood into these spots here. Okay, now to the other side. I'm going to put 45 degrees in here and we're going to run that all the way up to the top. Now there should be, if this is done correctly, there should be a small amount of overlap here on each of those. We're then going to take a wood beam and now there is a little lip here. So we're going to go and put another half in 
We're then going to put a large one in and a large one in and then I'm going to put support in here straight away. So if you've done this all correct so far, this piece here should line up with the edge of this. That's where the extra roof is going to be. Next, I'm going to go with a 45 degree angle here, only one. And then I'm going to go with 45 degree angles all the way up to the top. Once again, this should overlap. I'm then going to remove these two. One, two. Forty-five degree angle goes on the top of this lip here. And then I'm going to put beams from here to over here. I'm then going to drop in some support for this corner piece here. And put in some beams that run across this part. Okay, so you should have like a gap here um, and that's fine because we're going to put in a roof piece anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and put the roof on the front part of this build. Right, so there we have it guys. That is the A-frame part of the roof. Uh, I'm going to go and do the rest of the roof quickly and then we'll get started on the walls. Hey guys, so at this point in the video, I just want to quickly make a note. Um, I did notice this kind of ugly gap here. Um, it's on my original build as well and I thought, I wonder if there's a way I can fix that. So just with the 45 degree thatch roof corners, you can actually just come in here uh, and fix this up just to make it look uh, a whole lot better so just go in drop in some uh, 45 degrees this one's already in here and then you just want to jump in the 45 degree roof pieces uh, like this right and then we can just drop in uh, some bars across the top or whatever you want to do to make it look nice but that looks so much better um, so please at this point in the build take note of that uh, for the rest of the video it will not be there um, but I would recommend that you add it in uh, at this point in your build I'll be adding it to my good one as well cheers So the walls and the windows are really kind of up to you. Um, I basically went around the edges and tried to find little squares or like inconsistencies in the the shape and the design of the building. So for example, like, you know, I could go and put in a half wall here and then have a half on this side as well. And then we can close this off and have, you know, a bit of a window in that space. So it's really up to you guys uh, with the windows. I mean, I would just go through, put all your squares in, see if you can do any halves. Uh, and then that will let you sort of put the windows in um, where you can, so.
Right, so I'm heading upstairs to do the detailing upstairs and add in the uh, roof as well. So when it comes to this stuff, guys, obviously this is completely up to you. You can put, you know, beams if you want to, uh, like all the way up this staircase if you want. I've got like storage and stuff in there. Um, as far as decorations concerned, you know, it's really up to you guys. It's up to what you want to do and I can show you some little tips and whatnot for hanging stuff on the walls, but for the most part, you know, you guys do your thing with that. Make sure you come inside the build and just have a look and make sure that you can see uh, any holes or anything that you need to fix. Alright guys, so we're going to have a quick look at the forge area here, so what you want to do is just place down a crafting bench, uh, obviously like my ground leveling here isn't the best, uh, I spent a lot more time on, a, on my other build, but for the most part, you know, you just want to try to get this nice and even, I would use the, uh, the stones, because uh, it looks more realistic, I would lead it all the way up to the door, so you have this area like that. Um, now you want to place down a crafting bench, obviously, to be able to put the forge and whatnot in there. So I would place in the forge, uh, the forge bellows if you can. Grinding wheel. Now you don't have to put all of this stuff together, so it can be, it can be kind of separate if you want it to be. But if you think about where, like, it might be located, uh, in real life, you know, you'd probably have the cooling down bucket next to the forge here. Um, as far as tools are concerned, I, I believe I placed them up on the top here. I think that looks the best. And the cool thing is you can place more than one as well. So we could do that. You know, if you wanted to use these, you could. Um, I don't really know if there's... Nah, because that's part of the other one, but that's fine. Um, and then we could have, you know, your anvil in, in here as well. So just start to add some real real detail to it. Now, little handy tip, guys, that I use for my builds. Uh, I love these item stands. Uh, they really do add some, like, realistic effects to the game. So, you know, I can put, put these in here. And then drop on, you know, weapons. And you can add uh, shields and stuff like that. Um, and then once you've done that, once you've just designed it, you can get rid of that crafting bench, you know, and it leaves you with this kind of natural looking space. Um, on the sides of the buildings, I do like to have some fencing, so, you know, we can put some, some storage fencing in here, like so, you know, and then they've got the, uh, wood, which looks really nice, so you place that in. And then we're going to put like a cart in here as well. So one thing with the carts, uh, because I'm obviously going for visual effect, I like to make sure that these are full so they've got the, uh, you know, it looks a little bit nicer. Uh, so then we can come in here and you can put on your decoration. You know, across the walls, you can put food down on the item stands, which is really, really cool. I think I love that about this. Uh, for the, the decoration, the aesthetic reasons. So we can go there, six. So we can put down some food. A um, couple of stools on the inside here. I like to try to decorate them, make it make sense. Uh, for example, you know, I'd probably put in the um, the fermenter here. You know, it's a, it's a bit of a mead thing. Um, storage can go underneath here. There you have it guys, so hopefully uh, the end product resembles something like that. Uh, as you can see, it's a slightly different to the original build, uh, just with the spacing of the windows and, and whatnot, but, but for the most part, it's pretty much there. I hope that this tutorial was easy enough for you guys to follow. Uh, this is the original build here, so go through, decorate it, make it look good. Um, try to get these walls and, and whatnot right. You can do some really cool sort of effects with them and make sure that, you know, windows in the middle make it look really cool. But for the most part, guys, that is the build. I hope that uh, yours came out just as good. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. See you soon.